Okay, let's settle a common point of confusion. Should the cost function be divided by 2 and why? If we take the sum of squared errors, that is a perfectly legitimate objective to minimize and we have discussed it in the previous video. However, some authors instead use the mean squared error. Dividing by m merely turns the sum into an average so that the scale does not grow with the data set size. Because if you have a data set of size 10, sum of squared errors is let's say 90. If you have a data set of size 100, sum of squared errors will be let's say 900. However, the average error, mean squared error is still 9 for example, roughly. So that is why we use mean squared error. Now then, you often see a further factor of half. So you often see j theta written as 1 upon 2m, summation i goes from 1 to m, yi minus uh, yi hat minus yi square. Now that half is there for one and one reason only, that is differentiation. Because d by d theta of e square is 2e d e by d theta. So that half cancels the two, leaving a neater expression for the gradient. So just to conclude, sum of squared errors SSE, mean squared error MSE and further half MSE all produce the same best fitting line. They differ only by a positive constant scaling.